<laughs> One of the things I love about Japan is being able to drink beer in an open container in public. I don't do it a lot, but I do. Fortunately, I've got this uh, Mick and Fumi uh, beer can holder that I'm so fond of that uh, the covers up. No one knows. Maybe they, they think I'm, I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper, which just smells like beer. Whoa. Susan, he does. <laughs> Almost got a shower there. <laughs> anyway, I like that too. I like getting showers in Japan as well. The baths are more fun because this is a bath bathing country. I've only had three sips of this beer and I already sound like I'm drunk. I just bought it at the family mart, headed to a festival downtown. Yes, you can drink on the train. You can do it. Especially in festival times, it's cool to do. You wouldn't want to do it normally as a routine. You know, I've seen salarymen doing that, coming home from the work, drinking on the train, but that's kind of frowned upon. Big, big festival this weekend in in, so, so in um, here at here in Shizuoka. I mean, this is like one of the big ones, the Daidoge World um, Festival, World uh, Competition of Street Performers. Um, Daidoge, street performers from all around the world are here this weekend. And it's quite fine to have a, have a brewski on the train, even without the cover, because you know, you're heading to festival, and I'm in festival attire, as I always am, because I'm a festive kind of guy. But this is not why I started this video. I said I love Japan because I can drink it up in an open container, get a, <clears throat> a shower um, from, a, from, from an elderly woman, on the street at random anytime watch trains go by which I can't see very often in Los Angeles and have a good time. One thing I don't like though that I was just thinking about is that uh, I get treated by, like, the Japanese treat me like a like a moron sometimes. <laughs> and I'm, I was trying to think why. I was just in the in the family mart there and a new woman that I'd, I'd never seen before. I know all the cashiers there. She just started there and uh, I was getting the money out and the way she was helping me count the money you know, I know I'm you know, anybody that knows spoken to me and that's spoken to me in Japanese and here's how bad my Japanese is, I, I'm I, I totally forgive them for treating me like a moron because I deserve it. But I never even spoke with this woman before. And uh, but you know and this happens to me a lot. I mean I've had people actually reach out and help me with the change. And it's not that I don't know what the money is, it's just that I'm kinda of slow in calculating it sometimes and if, I'm not even mad. I think I'm normal speed. I don't think there's any excuse. I don't know why it happens. I think I do know why it happens. It's because I'm I'm the I'm I'm the I'm the friendly idiot. You know, I'm a naturally upbeat type of person unless I'm at work and then I'm then I'm then I'm a pain in the butt. But I'm a naturally upbeat person. I walk up to the, every cashier wherever I am and, and and say hello in Japanese and give them a big smile, laugh and having fun. That's the way I am all the time when I'm out and about. And I think that that gets connected in with the, with men in Japan. Men are very stoic, you know, they don't show their emotions, especially the older men. And if you do, that's very uh, either very feminine or a very moronic. And I think that I don't come across as very feminine necessarily, do I? But no, maybe I do come across as moronic, especially dressed as I am, with shorts and sandals and giggling and laughing and having a good old time. And in foreigner, and they think I can't understand, and they help me. And they help me in various and sundry ways. It happens all the time. Um, I'm pretty used to it, but nevertheless, it, it's frustrating sometimes. And I, I wonder sometimes if others experience this. I know that uh, a friend of mine, another J vlogger here in Japan. Um, I hope she won't mind. I don't think she'll mind if I mention Jen in Japan. You know, a very very intelligent woman once uh, sent out a tweet indicating something to the effect of, uh, of being regarded as, 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 as stupid by her co-workers. Uh, I hope she won't mind if I said that. I think that's roughly what she said. Um, and she speaks Japanese. Uh, you know, and, uh, people ex thinking that she can't understand things. And maybe, I, I wonder if the Japanese would, would say that it's, it's their effort to try and help us, to try and, try and make things easier for us as, as, uh, as foreigners in their country. And then perhaps that's it. I don't think there's any, any ill intentions or disrespect intended by, by the Japanese with regards to this type of stuff. I think, I think what it really is all about is uh, genuine kindness in the most part or simply a misunderstanding or maybe an unease on their part wanting to, uh, to, to, to get through the situation as quickly as possible. Anyway, if you come to Japan and you're sensitive to that type of stuff, develop a little bit of a thick skin as I've tried to do. Sometimes it, it doesn't work as well as it could, but if you can it'll help. Now I'm going to Put my beer down, buy my train ticket, and head to the Daidoge. See my family there. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.